feel like I don't say my name often enough in my videos. I usually just start right into them. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Lindsay. And uh, today's video, I'm going to be using the ASP, which two years later I have found out stands for All Season Professional Color Quick Dip Kit. I had actually used one of their other kits a few years ago. I was going through my nail stuff and I still have some supplies left over from the last time I used one of their kits. So it's the same stuff, except this one has three colors. Before I get into any nail prep or anything, I wanted to mention because in my old video a lot of people wanted to know where I get my nail tips from, especially these beautiful pinky nude. I like to order my tips off of eBay, you can find them for really inexpensive, so that's usually where I look. I don't have any specific links for these because I bought them years ago, but if you check eBay, you can usually find some for really good prices. Make sure in your kit you have your step one nail primer, step two nail base and top gel, step three the gel activator, the brush cleaner, whichever color powder you're going to use, and then extras on the side. I like to have a bowl to put the powder in because I am using nail tips. My nails are too long to dip directly into the powder container. I like to have a nice clean makeup brush. You need some nail files and buffers, nail clippers, and cuticle pusher. My first step in prepping the nails while using tips is to push back my cuticles trim the free edge of my nails, and then buff the entire surface so that the acrylic powder will adhere better. I like this particular cuticle pusher I have. I got it in a Revel nail kit. It's just really nice and it's really good at lifting up all that dead skin that's stuck on your nails. I usually get all of my other tools and things from Sally Beauty Supply if I don't get it off of eBay. Does anybody else hold their pinky like this? I remember I mentioned it one time in a really old video and like every single comment was like, I just tried it. So, comment if you tried it. <laughs> Once you've got all of your nails trimmed, filed, and buffed, you just need to go wash your hands, get, them, get rid of all the dust. Don't put on any kind of lotion or anything. You want your nails to be nice and clean. It's also a good idea to take a cotton ball and some alcohol just to make sure they're nice and clean and dry so that the acrylic will adhere better and last longer. Next step is to glue on your nail tips. I've actually got the little ASP brush on glue from the kit. And my number one tip when gluing on nail tips or fake nails in general is to start with your pinkies and work your way in so you always have your thumbs to work with. And also select your nails and line them up before you glue them on just so you know that you have every single nail you need. This glue was very weird. It's like a thick gel consistency, and if you if you pushed on the, the tips too soon, they would pop right off, but then after a bit, they, they're super secure. It was just very strange. I was like, when I first saw it, I was like, did I, did I let my glue get too old, or? I don't know. It's just, I've never seen a nail glue like this. It's gel, unless it was actual gel for gel nails. <laughs> Once you've got your nail tips glued on, trim and file them to whatever length and size and shape you want. Once you've got the nails shaped, the next step is to gently, carefully, very, very carefully, buff out the line where your natural nail meets the tip. And the reason I say to do this carefully is so that you don't over file your natural nail. That's how they grow back really thin, is how many times you have to file your nails when you do fake nails. All right, once you've washed off your hands again of all the powder, next step is to start applying the acrylic. The instructions say to work one nail at a time, so that's what I'm gonna do. First step is to apply the step one nail primer to only your natural nail. So if you have tips, 
only apply it right here. Now step two, the nail base and top gel. The thing that I didn't do in my first video was make sure that I built up the apex where the tip and my natural nail meet. So this time I'm going to attempt to do that and I'm just going to put my first layer is just going to be a little bit at that breaking point. But first I need to put the powder into a little container because my nails are too long to dip into the container. This time I am using the brown color that came in the kit. It's called cream soda. So the other reason I like to use a little dish like this is because I have this little spoon so that if I can't get my nail all the way covered, I can just spoon it on top. It's cute. Okay, so I'm going to apply a small bit of it where the tip and the natural nail meet. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Doesn't, I don't know. Tap off the excess. And then I'm going to use a clean makeup brush to just gently dust off the excess that didn't come out entirely perfectly. There's kind of a bump on it, but at least it will be a little bit thicker there than, than it would be normally. So now I'm going to continue as if I normally would paint it on like nail polish and then dip it. And then I think it says to repeat once or twice. It depends on how thick you want them to be. I'm going to probably do it twice. Okay, I'm not 100% sure I like how that worked. I've got to find a way to make it a little bit smoother because there is a bump and that's going to be annoying to try to uh, brush out. But I'm just going to move on to the next step, which is to apply another coat of step two followed by the gel activator. I ended up doing three layers of it just because it didn't quite look thick enough. Also, I'm just now noticing this powder is kind of shiny. It almost looks like a highlighter. And I don't know if it's going to look like that once it's buffed out or anything, but eh, I kind of like the color, just a plain nude, but it's really shiny. If your gel activator brush starts to get a little stiff, all you have to do is switch it with the gel cleaner brush. All right, now that my thumb is finished, it says to continue all of those steps all over again on each and every single nail. I'll be back. Okay, somehow I feel like my left hand did better, you know, painting my right hand than normal. I did a better job on my right hand. That That's so weird. Anyway, time to clean this up. <laughs> and um, the last step is to just reshape, file, buff out any of those bumps, and then shine them if you want. And then you're done. And I think I'm just gonna leave them like this. I just buffed them. I didn't put on any shine, nail polish or anything. You can, you can put on nail polish after this, but I kind of like the matte look. And I think in a couple days, I'm gonna be trying out a, a gel nail polish kit. So I might use it on top of these. 
I wish I had used this color the first time. This is nice. You can tell in some of the spots where I made some mistakes, there's like little bumps near my cuticles and some of the sides aren't filled in perfectly. But for the most part, I think they came out beautiful. I really wish I knew why I put this kit in the back of my drawers and forgot about it. And if you happen to get it or happen to find the cream soda color, it's very, very pretty. And because I know someone's gonna ask how long these will last, these will probably last me anywhere from two to four weeks. I don't fill my nails because I get really tired of wearing them, so I take them off. But uh, yeah, most of the time I can get nail kits to last me two to four weeks like a normal set of nails. They do lift a lot. But you can follow me on Instagram. I'll probably do some up updates on my Instagram stories in my highlights on these. Yeah, I'm in desperate need of some lotion. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.